Hi, you're with Chandeep Pat Goodly once again, and in this video, I'm going to talk about dynamic data types. Hang on, we did speak about dynamic data types in the last video as well. What is different this time is that I should be able to design a query in such a way that it takes a look at the first row of the data and declares the data type automatically. In the last video, we had to declare and spell out every single data type of the column manually inside of an Excel file, and the query was actually connected to that Excel file. Now, if you haven't really taken a look at that particular video, I will highly recommend that you take a look at that video, understand the fundamentals and carry it through that. But today, let's just design a query that takes a look at at the first row of the data and declares the data type automatically. Let's start. All right, I'm in Power Query and the data has been loaded. Now we have been working with the same data since the last video, which has four simple columns. We had the date column, we have the name column, the value and the text column. Now my query should be able to take a look at the first row of the data and declare the type of the column automatically. Take a look, the first column, the first row here is a date and this should actually become a date column. This should become a text column. This should become a number column. And to be able to make a robust query, your first row of data can technically be a blank value as well. And in that case, if the first row is blank then the query should define the data type as any it could be a number or it could be a text now although I can carry out all the steps in this very query and define the data types by looking at the first row but what I will do is just to make the process simple and more understandable I will create a new query which is going to be nothing but the duplication of this particular query and then start from there let's just duplicate this query and I'm just gonna maybe come to this query and call this as data types and let's just start the work Okay, let's just try to extract the first row of this table to be able to take a look at the data type. I'm going to create a FX step here and maybe use the function called table.firstn uh, and it actually asks me for the name of the table and it then, then says that how many rows would you like to extract from that particular table. So I mentioned the name of the table which is the previous step and I'd like to extract one row from that table. Commit to that formula, press enter and you do get the first row of that particular table. Now this table is horizontal and I would like to be able to work with the columns to be able to take a look at the data type. So I need to transpose this table. So I'm just going to create a new step right here and maybe use this function called table.transpose now you can also do that using the interface. I just like writing the M functions and that is where my table gets transport. Now you can see that although we do have the first row of the data here, but we are really missing out the names of the columns and we do want the names of the columns to be able to apply the data types correctly. So what I do, I'll do is I'll go back to the previous step. In the previous step, I will actually demote the headers. You must have learned the option of promoting the headers. There is also an option of demoting the headers. So I'm just going to go to the home tab in the home tab. I'm just going to maybe uh, click on the drop down right here. There is another option called use um, the headers as the first row, which is nothing but demoting the headers. So once I click on that, I would like to insert a step and the headers do get demoted. Now my table has got two rows, the header itself and the value, the header itself and the value. And now if I actually transpose this particular table, I actually get two columns. The first column is the header and the second column is the value itself. Now I should be able to take a look at the value of the first row and declare a data type. How do I do that? I'm going to go to the add columns tab and create a custom column. Now the custom column that I'm going to create is going to use a very simple if function and I'm just going to say take a look at this particular column which is column 2 and if this column 2 is actually equal to a blank is is a null value then in that case I would like to apply a data type as any there is a function called any dot type which is nothing but a data type of any and that's what I'd like to do when the column is actually blank so if column number two is blank then apply the type as any otherwise what I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at the value here and apply the correct data type and as the last time that we discussed there is a function called value dot type and that's the function that I use and I pick up the value in column number two and I just maybe declare a data type. I'm just going to close the bracket and I'll just press OK. And you can see that a new column has been inserted, which is where I have all the types. So take a look. This actually seems to be a date. And if I take a look at that particular column, it is a date time type declared. And if I take a look at the next column, this is a text and the text has been declared. And this is actually any, which is something that you would like to apply in case the column is absolutely blank. Now, we have the type column, we have the name of the column, and this is something that we don't need anymore. We can actually delete that stuff. Now, as of now, this table is vertical. We'd like to again convert it back into the horizontal format. So I'll again use the function called table.transpose to be able to transpose the table. So I'm going to use table.transpose and just wrap the 
table around in this function press enter and the table actually gets transposed now we have uh, two parts we have the name of the column we have the type we have the name of the column and we have the type but we would we would like to be able to convert this table that we have into a list of a list meaning I need to have a larger list inside of a larger list I need to have sub list and every sub list should contain two parts the name and the type like just like the way that we did it the last time I'm just gonna create a new step and just use the function called table dot two columns and wrap the previous step around that commit to that and you can see that we have a larger list and every single list has got two parts inside of that we have the date and we have the type date is nothing but the name of the column and we have the type so on and so forth this is good enough now this is like a list and this list has, is something that I can actually apply to this particular uh, query right here I'm actually going to go to the transform tab and click on the, the detect data type option once I do that you can see that uh, I actually should have done that on all the columns so I select all the columns and I just go to the transform tab and detect data type and you can see that uh, the detect data type option actually uh, creates a list of a list which is where the first part is the name of the column and then you have the type of the column and then again the name of the column the type of the column now this is the structure that we have already created in this particular step which is data types and I'm just gonna maybe just replace that with data types here close that bracket press enter and you can see that it actually converts it into the correct data type now this is good enough I'm just gonna go to the home tab and close and load this table to my Excel all right my data has been loaded into Excel and this is where things get really interesting let's just perform three quick checks and see if our query is working absolutely fine or not so take a look at this particular column we have left out the first row as blank and hence this column was converting into a data type of any numbers or text both are good but let's just write some text here let's just write the alphabet a now since the first row is a text all of this column should actually be converted to a text if I just come here right click and if I do a refresh they should all be come out to as a text this is all good now you would obviously face problems inside of your query when you declare a data type and if you happen to delete that column your query actually stops to work now in this case this is going to work absolutely fine if I just go ahead and if I just delete the value column and if I just come back and hit a refresh on my query my query would still be working absolutely fine now this would also happen once you add another column and if I just write maybe the value a all across here and if I just come back to the query and hit a refresh this would still work absolutely fine and you can see that because the first value was a text all of this column has been converted to a text automatically all right, that was all about how do you take a look at the first row of the data and dynamically declare the data type. Now, obviously, this is not my idea. This is Imke's idea from BI Accountant. I'm going to leave a link to the blog post that she's written, and it's absolutely fantastic. You should actually take a look at that. And obviously, if you have any questions around this, please feel free to put down a comment, and I'll be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my Power Query and my DAX courses. If you're starting out and you need help with Power Query or with DAX, to be able to learn the fundamentals first and then proceed to learn more complicated things, to be able to solve of your problems i will highly suggest that you take a look at my courses it's going to be extremely beneficial thanks so much for watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye